Hey everybody, I'm going out on tour for the first time in about four years and I wanted to share with you all what I like to keep in my everyday carry as a touring musician. This is going to feature all the latest gear and chargers and accessories and things that I personally like to have with me, both for music creation as well as just generally being a nerd. So let's get into it. So the tours I'm going on this summer are with India Owens and the Cookout and we're traveling to Finland, France, Canada, the Netherlands, uh, Scotland, and a few other places and I personally like to be very comfortable when I'm on the road. I wanna make sure that I have access to power as well as all the chargers that I need, uh, the right headphones, all those types of things so that I'm really comfortable. And I also like to have tools available to be able to create consistently because I'm on the road, you're on an airplane, you're on a train, you might not always have the same tools, but you can really have like a pretty substantial tech bag without being weighed down and keep it organized. And that's what this video is all about. Let's start off talking about the backpack itself, which is by High Sierra. Now this isn't some special tech backpack or anything like that. It's something I found, I believe at an airport about six years ago and I fell in love with it. It's pretty cool. It's got a slot for a laptop and iPad Pro. It fits all the gear comfortably, plenty of pockets, you know, it's a backpack. One thing that is pretty cool is it does have this slot on the back which allows me to put this directly on top of the handles of a suitcase or actually what I use it for is on my trumpet case. So it's really convenient to kind of roll that and have everything connected or of course I can toss it on my back. All right, so inside the backpack, the first item I'm gonna pull out is actually gonna be my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Um, with this one, I actually got it and I have it set along with the Apple keyboard, which is pretty convenient um, to be able to type. I'm not planning on bringing a laptop with me, so this really kind of takes care of any word processing needs or writing copy, all of the above. Uh, of course, I have the Apple Pencil. One of the additions that I made to the setup, however, though, is using this case by Moft, which is a snap case for the iPad Pro, which allows me to still be able to kind of have a little bit of protection when I'm using the iPad without the keyboard. I have this slot here for the Apple Pencil, and then it actually is able still to use this uh, MagSafe connection to the keyboard, which is super convenient. All right, up next are my headphones, which are the AirPod Maxes from Apple. Um, the case that these came in were pretty like terrible. I don't even know if you can call it a case. They look kind of like a bra, that's what a lot of people say. Um, so I actually picked up this case by Yankee off of Amazon, which is awesome. It has like a nice felt feel to it. And it has a separation in the middle here to kind of keep the headphones from bumping into each other. And I love these headphones when I'm traveling. I'm really excited to, for the noise cancellation, very effective, of course, the sound quality, but that noise cancellation is so important. So you can block out the sound of that loud baby on the flight or the annoying person sitting next to you who just won't stop talking to you, like no matter what. I like to keep all my accessories in a tech bag inside of my backpack to kind of keep things separated so I'm not digging through a bunch of different pockets or just have wires flying all over the place. So per the recommendation of my cousin, Kevin the Tech Ninja, I picked up this Peak Design Tech Pouch, which is able to really easily organize all of those accessories for me. So the way I keep this organized is I use this outside pouch here to keep all of the kind of like loose cords so they don't get all jumbled up together. I should use some sort of like zip tie or Velcro, but who really has time for that? Honestly, inside here, they don't really get tied up, which is cool. So inside of this other part of the pouch, I keep the slightly larger accessories, my chargers, etc. You've probably noticed this like little black rectangle on my shirt in a lot of my videos that's currently recording the audio for this video. And this is a set of lavalier mics from DJI. So I'm able to keep this inside the tech pouch. And this is pretty cool because it does have this receiver here that you can utilize as well as a secondary lavalier mic, which is all operated wirelessly and it records directly to the drive. And it's pretty cool, especially if I wanna do any vlogging or anything like that. This really kind of keeps that stuff organized and is able to really just kind of easily capture the audio. I can later plug in through USB-C and get access to all the recordings. If I wanted to, I could also use this receiver here to be able to connect directly to my phone or to my iPad or whatever I'm recording on to get audio. All right, next up is my charger. And this is actually from Anchor and I love it. It has two slots for USB-C as well as standard USB. It's a charger, it's powerful, it gets the job done. It's actually powerful enough to be able to charge my laptop or my iPad Pro, which is pretty cool. So also from Anchor, I do have this power bank, which is rechargeable and has two slots for USB-C as well as standard USB. And what's pretty awesome is I'm able to take this on the go and I will always have power with me. So I do also travel with my Insta360, which is wonderful to capture 360 footage like what you're seeing on screen 
screen right now. And this is great for tour, just for creating social media clips, etc. So I like to keep this on deck inside my backpack. Inside the tech pouch, I actually have two spare batteries for the Insta360, and this pack itself is chargeable. So I can just plug this charger in here, and then I always make sure that I have extra battery power for the Insta360. I also have this Zapago Apple watch charger that I keep inside the bag, very convenient, can just plug in through USB-C here, and gets this thing charged, it's pretty straightforward. Because I'm using my iPad as my main workstation, I wanted to make sure that I had a USB-C splitter. This one's pretty cool, it's from MoGood. It does have one slot that is dedicated just for power, so I can connect my USB-C or Thunderbolt power here. And then it does have these other two slots which are designed specifically for connecting any sort of USB-C connections. So this will be cool, because I could theoretically be able to get like solid power, as well as making sure that I can connect, let's say a, a keyboard or an audio interface or whatever else I want to connect to my iPad. And for storage, I did pick up a Samsung T7 portable SSD, which has two terabytes of storage. This is great because I can offload all the great footage that I'm going to create using my Insta360 and from my phone, etc. while I'm on the road. And I don't want to just have the devices be full of memory. And also I don't want to just trust the internal memory. I did want to make an honorable mention for an item that'll be in my suitcase, not inside my tech bag, but it's this carry on foldable keyboard. Believe it or not, this is a MIDI controller. So I can open it up like this. It's pretty cool. Um, it has built-in sounds, which are, you know, sounds like a MIDI keyboard, but I can also use it as a MIDI controller, which I'll be using together with my iPad Pro. So be on the lookout for videos about that. All right, that's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed this, please do me a favor and go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. All of the links for everything that I've discussed today are gonna be found in the description. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.